In this video, I go through all the things that I did to make this cool, cute little game in six days. When recording it, I started to go into technical detail about how I did the ropes and the swinging and the pulleys and the collisions, and it's so much stuff that I think I'm going to leave it for another video. So if you want to hear everything that I learned about rope physics in detail while I was making this game, then hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, comment below, sign this petition, and write a letter to your local member of parliament and I will get it done for you. Okay, so I made this game for a game jam, and that game jam was hosted by our beloved game dev masters over at Brackies. And the theme for this jam was Rewind. Immediately when thinking of a game to fit this theme, the idea of rewinding time comes to mind, at least it did for me, but I kind of wanted to do something a little different, so I went with ropes. Winding, unwinding, and rewinding ropes. Pulleys, something ropey. It helps that I just figured out, if you have seen in my last video, how hinge joints and ragdolls and spring joints and everything under the ropey snake-like sun works as I tried in a very huge effort to get my eel moving in a slithery way. And I got it, eventually, and it was awesome. So I started building a rope. I drew one in A-Sprite, a vine actually. So I have a vine, and I put bones in it, and I put hinges between each bone, and I got a rope. And then I made a pulley. I was like, okay, if I attach the rope to one side of this pulley and throw a collider on there and then rotate the pulley, then the rope should do the pulley thing. And it did. It was all right. It was not ideal, but it was a good start and I was feeling pretty great. Then I was on Instagram one day, and you should follow me on Instagram, by the way. I'm really cool and fun and funny. And I was scrolling along and I saw this photo that my friend Lanny took of a very cute looking caterpillar. By the way, Lanny is also a game developer who goes by the name Purple Monkey Games, and you should check out his stuff. It's awesome. Anyway, so I thought, yeah, I should draw this caterpillar. And so I did. And she's very cute. And I'm very proud of this drawing. So I put the caterpillar in the game and I gave her some bones and I attached her to the rope and she looks so awesome. And then I threw a bunch of hinge joints in the caterpillar too, for good measure. So now everything is swinging together. After that, I made some controls to make the player swing back and forth on the rope. I made some controls to make the player detach from the rope and attach to a new rope and flip directions on the rope. But at this point, the ropes aren't really acting so nice. I also tried this player plus pulley situation and no, that just did not seem to be working. So long story short, and I mean long story, it pains me to say this, but I'm actually skimming over like 20 hours of fiddling that I did here, but I tried a lot to get this to work and it didn't work. The pulley wrapping around thing, not gonna happen. So I'm gonna have to fake the pulley. I don't think I'm gonna actually be able to get the rope to physically, virtually wind up around something. It's gonna have to be programmed in a sneaky way. Good morning. I woke up at 4.30 and was laying in bed just thinking of pulleys and ropes. And I thought I had an idea of how I could get this pulley going. <laughs> it's just not working the way I wanted it to do to work. I actually I got it working, um, but once I put the caterpillar on the rope, everything broke. So I'm gonna try an entirely new approach now. It's uh, eight, no, it's seven o'clock now. Um, so I'm just taking a small break, enjoying some of this sunrise. Wow, that looks good. I feel like I've spent so much time on this rope already and I'm not even sure what the gameplay is going to be like, so we'll see. At least I'm learning a lot about joints. <laughs> okay, that's all. I just wanted to flex my awesome view, really. I didn't have much to say. <laughs> so I found this Brackies cut the rope tutorial on how to make a super cool dynamically generated rope. And so I cut my rope sprite into segments and then I turned each rope segment into a prefab. I used a random number generator to 
choose between which prefab I was going to use when generating the rope so it's always kind of randomly looks different. And then I determined exactly where to place the anchor of each rope segment based on the sprite size of the previously generated rope segment so that they all align perfectly since they all weren't the same size. And there's one small annoying problem is that the rope stretches and there's some gaps between the joints but at least it doesn't break like this anymore. So I extended the code that Brackies showed to add and remove links in the pulley. I figured if I'm adding and removing rope segments to the top of the pulley, it looks like it's winding and unwinding the pulley, plus some nice turning of the crank sprite will give a great kind of pulley looking effect. And this was super fun to make. I have a crank script that basically just turns the crank and then calls add or remove link based on the direction the crank is turning. And then in the rope script, it's basically the Brackies script that I extended and this keeps track of the topmost segment of the rope so it knows where to add and remove links. So the way I did the cranking of the pulley is basically you click to select a pulley and it turns on a little yellow glow sprite behind it to show that it's selected and then you press R to wind up the pulley and F to unwind the pulley. So you can preemptively wind and unwind pulleys, you don't actually have to be on it in order to use it. Okay, so I have ropes. I have pulleys, I can swing, I can climb up and down, I can jump and grab. And so my mechanics are done. Or are they? I decided I want to be able to land and crawl along platforms too. So I painted some platforms and I created an entire new caterpillar body for crawling, uh, this time without any bones. And I added a cute little crawling animation. So now when the caterpillar collides with an object that has the tag ground, it switches bodies and lands not so gracefully on the leaf. So around this time I got tired of unity and programming and ropes and hinges and I decided to switch back over to a sprite and draw a background for the game. I've been working on this background for so long, like all day today and half of the day yesterday. It's way too big and it's taking so long, and this is exactly why I didn't do digital art. Because every time I tried, I would just be such a perfectionist, and I would spend so much time working and like making every single pixel perfect. And like, it looks good. Don't get me wrong, I'm proud of it, it's on its way but it's not done. <laughs> All day, I haven't done anything else for my game today. Just this. So I got this background done eventually. There's two versions of it. It's fully repeating on all four sides seamlessly and it's totally sexy and it was totally worth it and I'm very pleased, honestly, right now. Love this background. So now we're done with the core mechanics. What's next? At this point, I figured out that the best kind of game this should be would be a puzzler where you can use the ropes and pulleys and leaves to make your way to some sort of destination. So I painted a nice little golden leaf as the tasty prize. I added a quick little collider on that leaf and I added a little win condition to the on trigger enter function and we have ourselves a game. I decided to go a little overboard with the wind sequence. I added a zoom in with the camera on wherever the caterpillar was located. And then I also made a little dance animation and slid in some nice congratulatory words and a next level button so you can proceed at your own pace after enjoying the small victory dance of getting a very tasty leaf. So at this point, I just gotta make levels. So I've got six levels total. I probably could have made more, but it felt like it got a bit repetitive for me. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I was just playing the game too much. But just to switch things up a little bit, I added a new rope that was like a fixed pulley. Uh, so you couldn't move it up or down, just to add some challenge. So this rope was signified with a little box on the pulley. After that, I added some more things to make the game feel a little more polished, like UI components. I added a question mark button in the top right corner that popped up the controls so you can check them at any time in the game. Um, compared to my last game, where I just put the controls in the description of my itch page, this was a very big step up. <laughs> 
also made a very cute little start screen where I explain a bit about the game and set the scene and set the stage for you to get into character as this hungry little caterpillar. And I also made a really cute and sweet ending for the game. If you complete all six levels, well, maybe I don't want to show you in this video, but I made a very nice animation sequence at the end and it's super sweet and super cute and you're just gonna have to play the game in order to see it. And don't worry, the game is much, much easier to beat than my last game, <laughs> I promise. You'll be able to beat it probably in like 10 or 20 minutes. One of the best things about this game, and I saved the best for last, is the music. If you watched my last game jam video, you heard the music that I got from my good friend Jesse, and you better believe that I went to him again for music this time. I sent him an early version of the game and some screenshots, and he just worked his magic. He incorporated some really sweet little bird chirping noises into the song, and it's so chill and relaxing, and he even got the beat working perfectly with the caterpillar dance, and it's just perfect. It fits so perfectly. Anyway, I just love working with Jesse for music because I know he's just gonna make something awesome right out the gate, and he did! And if you want to check out his other stuff, I linked his website and Instagram in the description below. And that's it! I'm done. I just finished the game jam. It is submitted. Now I can go take a shower because look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah, see? I got it. Up and running. It looks so good. Yeah! That's it, guys. Go check it out. You play it in your browser. No downloads necessary. Just go give it a whirl and let me know what you think. It's not going to work on your mobile phone, so make sure you're at a computer. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so tired right now. I'm dang exhausted. You could probably tell in my voice and how loopy this video is. It's been a long week and even making this video, I'm like, wow, okay, I need to rest. So rest, I shall. Until next time, catch me on Discord, catch me on Twitter, catch me on Instagram, catch me in the comments. I'm literally everywhere. Subscribe to my channel. It helps me out. Okay, bye.